my cutest of all cutinesses. This is look number four in my ten holiday party looks of 2016. And this look, I call it the Christmas tree ball lips. With the half moon eyes. And if you want to see how I got this look, you'll just have to keep on watching as it's getting started right now. Now you're gonna say, who's that cute little poodle? Well, hi all, it's me, the poodle, today. I'm gonna put on my Christmas lights because I knew I was missing something and it is my lights. So, here I am again, and this is number four of my ten party looks. Yay! Oh, time flies. Time really, really flies. I have prepared my face with um, my skincare, my foundation, my brows, so that we can jump right into our party look. And to start off, I'm gonna put in my earrings before I forget. By the way, I love this wig. Oh my god, she's beautiful! Now, I'm going to start by taking a tiny bit shimmery white and I'm going to put that all over my lid because today we are going for a full glam look with a winged eyeliner and everything up and on with main color silver this time. And I'm gonna put a little bit underneath my eye. Now to make my first touch of color I am going for a light light gray so I'm going to take my 177 palette and I'm going for a soft grey, this one for instance. And I'm going to apply that as my transition color in the crease. And now this wig just arrived a couple of hours ago. So I sew in a couple of clips and I really want to try it out because it's so curly and festive that's something I never do or wear this way and I thought to myself why not use it in this look as I was going for a silver party look and a lot of people curl their hair to go to a party so why wouldn't I? Now I'm taking the very tapered side of the same brush and I'm going with that same grey underneath my eye to make a base because we're going for gradient but also a very winged eyeliner or a special winged eyeliner, I don't know yet, we'll see. <laughs> As you all know I never practice a look call it laziness, call it always want to try something new, call it whatever you like, I just don't practice there, that's that. So I'm gonna take a blending brush at hand and I'm gonna already give this a little blend before jumping into a darker grey. This one, this dark grey but it is a little bit more glittery already. Shimmery. And instead of my outer V, I'm making more of a C shape above my eye. Off a moon shape actually. From the crease to my upper lid. In the crease and to the upper lid half a circle and blend it out and let that go 
a bit under the eye too, just on the other corner. It gives me such a 50s look with these girls and all. But now I'm gonna blend that very well. That's that, and I like it. It's cute. It's kind of cute. It doesn't match my blue hairpins, but it's cute. <laughs> so then, what am I gonna do next? Well, <sighs> don't ask me what that was, because I can't explain. It's something stupid. <laughs> now, I'm taking a very round. Lyman brush and I'm going to black you know that very dark color that you see everywhere black. This. and it's a matte color but a very pretty one and I'm gonna try to bring that in a small curve like I did before that half moon shape from the crease to the upper eyelid and again take my blending brush and wiggle away especially in the crease itself and I'm blending it more to the inside of the C shape not to the the wing but more towards my moving eyelid because I really want to keep that C shape. Now, in that C shape, I'm gonna start using very white eyeshadow. Now, this is just a flat appliment brush, but it doesn't matter which one you use as long as he's clean. And I am placing that mostly on the inner corner. and also underneath my eye a little bit and then taking this same brush I am going to spray it with my NYX matte finish spray so that it's a bit prepared you know and then I'm, I am taking a very glittery white if I can open it these are so great, but you gotta get them open. Now this is a very shimmery white. A lot of glitter, so it's gonna give a lot of fallout. And I'm packing that on that other white. On the inner corner to the crease. And it's sticking nicely, thanks to that spray so the fallout I'm not gonna care too much about also if you keep your head back and you tab instead of rubbing you'll have a lot less fallout than when you keep your face straight because it's gonna have more time to fall off the brush and you can always add A bit more and if you want to have this really 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 outstanding then you can use eye primer or jumbo pencil in milk or lash glue anything that sticks a lot more than this and you will have a magnificent glitter look now this is already a very nice smoky eye with white in the middle but now we're going for silver and for silver I'm going to use a pigment so for that I am going to use a little bit of concealer and that concealer I really am gonna use as a sticky base to glue this on and it's actually a white glitter it's not really silver but it's pretty and I am using 
clean flat appliment brush and apply concealer to my moving eyelid in a section that's smaller than the rest that I've applied already and I'm not going to the darkest spot but I am using the same brush that I used for that shimmer just before and now I am packing on this pigment onto that concealer wow that is pretty oh gosh that's pretty so I'm gonna do the same on the other side and it doesn't have to be too neat because the edge will be blended and just press that nicely tight into that concealer that is so beautiful oh, I, I love this technique but I also love this color a lot and if you want it to be even more vibrant just take your finger tap some on and press that on the center of your eyelid and that is popping even double look at that that is so beautiful this goes with every look you have these colors match everything i am taking a darker gray by hema and that is also such a beautiful, beautiful color which you can pack on with a flat appliment brush. And where that dark meets the light, I'm going to blend that with this color. And I'm blending that a little bit up in the crease over that wonderful color. And the more to the inner part I come, the less I apply, but to the outside I am putting more higher in the crease because we're gonna make our wing there but this makes me think of Marlene Dietrich or so a very old 50s or 40s or 50s look I don't know it's it's something from that age <laughs> and now I am taking the same color which I will be applying underneath my eye but I'm now only connecting the outer edge with the beginning of my eye taking my blending brush I'm going to go around everything for a moment oh this is gonna be so great now I've got white eyeliner and I have never used that in my life so this is for me a first time using real liquid white eyeliner and I'm gonna do my inner corner with that and I'm doing that just to the middle of my eye it's just a, just a lollipop and now I'm gonna do the waterline or against my waterline we'll see what it'll be Oh, that is pretty! Oh, that's really nice. It has a little bit shimmer in it and it's matching this look so beautifully. That is so cute. But this is gorgeous. Wow! Gorgeous! Now, I'm going to put glue onto my lashes. <laughs> okay, that was not my question. That was really not my question. No, I wanted to ask if you would be pretty on my eyes. Not on the floor. I will cut my lashes, put on the glue, and then I will be back. And now I am going to do some eyeliner. In the waterline, I'm just going to use a black eye pencil. And not too much, not too hard. And that small brush I'm going to use to smudge out this black liner 
especially on the outer corners and I am gonna blend that with a dark gray there <laughs> so I'm blending the black with the gray especially on the outer edge here and to darken that up a little bit I'm using just a matte black not a shimmery black a matte black eyeshadow same high type and extending that line to the outer corner because it's gonna be connected to the winged eyeliner that's that now I'm taking my liquid eyeliner my favorite one of all times this tiny little one here I'm taking my angled very fine lining brush and I am gonna make me a nice line now let's smack that wing slap that wing smack that wing whatever you want and as I said it's gonna be a nice big one so let's not hold ourselves back and now with my eyes almost closed I'm going to make a second line higher than the crease or in the crease like so which stops halfway and which I'm also shaping in that half moon that I was talking about from the beginning so this half moon is the base for this liner too as you see by now rounding off this shape our moon shape is back and this moon is actually the base for my look now I do have to sit like this for a little while because if I don't I'm gonna open my eyelids and this liner will be ruined and that is absolutely not supposed to happen this is a little bit of a precision work here but of course you can skip this part and as you see I connect that lower line with the upper line and now it's about dry enough to finish off and I want to finish this off by taking that small brush again and using that very dark anthracite color and with that dark color I am going to fill up that C and blend it with that black so actually I am covering that half moon part a little bit and blending it with the black and thanks to that half moon work that I did I'm now gonna have a very nice blended smoky crease and outer corner of my eye so I blend that shimmery gray with that black and keep that half moon shape but also go on top of the wing and while this is done I'm going back to my black eyeshadow which is not shimmery with the same brush and I am darkening the corner and the tip and now with my blending brush I'm softly going over that black line on the on the top and under my eyes there now that is what I call a half moon and instead of a cut crease or all the other special stuff you can name it this is so 
special and unique and yeah I love this this is so totally different than what we normally would do and now we're going to curl those lashes put on mascara and put on the falsies you need mascara to do mascara but I see that I haven't closed my concealer so it's a possibility that it'll dry out and I don't like that my lashes are so small uh, I'll do it this way And I never used this glue before, so it's new to me, so I don't know how long I have to play with it before it sticks, or does it stick right away, or... These are very special lashes. They have crossing hairs, so they are handmade, and part of them is in that direction, part of them is in that, so they're all crossed. I'm going to let them dry for a little moment and then I will place on some mascara. But now first I'm going to let them... Whoa, they're nice. Ooh. Okay, now first I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to start with the dark, the contour part of my contour kit. And I'm taking a fluffy contour brush. Now I'm going over with the same brush, but to the shimmery part. Yeah, Vipke. Vipke is telling me <coughs> that he likes the holidays too. Because he knows that he is going to get presents. He knows. He doesn't know, but the dog does. I'm not gonna say his name because he's sitting right next to me and otherwise he's too silly. And as you beautiful ladies already know, if you're a little bit older like me, no blush on the apples of your cheeks, but on the outside. And we're starting to transform into a movie star. No, we're not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what a look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Loving it. Loving it so much. I am going to set this all with setting spray and fan it so that when I put on my creamy uh, highlighter and on top of that my goldish highlighter, it's going to be one nice surface which will give us the the really really wanted result of our makeup so let's now first take our moment and enjoy the setting spray Now, to finish off this look, I am going to use this concealer, which is actually a very pink-toned one, but if you use that instead of a very pale one, more on the inner side of the face, I am now using this, and I'm gonna apply that with the warmth of my fingers. As you see, it's more a glowy pink, healthy color instead of pale 
concealer clean off my hands for a moment I have my dream Lumi dream Lumi touch here so that is a shimmery a highlight slash concealer too but in more of a gold tone and that I apply on the outer edge and as you see I blend that into my uh, blush now look at what a glow I have without using powder now I am going to take off my lip plumper and with this look you can choose either you go for a grey look you go for a nude lip or you go for something very very bright now as I want this look to be the most sexy and bright look in the world I am going for that last I'm gonna do red glitter lips really red glitter lips with this and as you see this is a very very serious Stuff, but first I'm going to put on a red lip stain so that my lips have a nice base, a nice coat. I'll take this one by MAC, which is a burgundy red, but that's a base. I like those. Yay! Wow! Beautiful color. But it's not gonna stay this color, it's gonna be much worse. That's that. Now, lip stain. Same color. Now these lips are going to be the vocal point of the entire party or whatever you're going to. These lips are going to be it. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. This is a glitter that sticks by itself normally. So if I put it on a surface, I get a this uh, very thick blob. Now to make this last even longer you can add lash glue I'm now gonna leave it like this because I'm not gonna leave it on for hours Now this is the biggest chunk of everything, of anything that I ever had on my lips. As you see, I have done my hair a little bit to the back, a bit loose, taken out those ridiculous blue hair pins. And now to work this look completely off, I'm gonna highlight my shoulders. Because if you wear a top with no shoulders, you have to let them glow and sparkle with the entire party look and of course you can also let your cheeks have that little bit of extra now as I see this glitter stuff isn't coming off so I love it so let's take a little makeup academy undress your skin highlighter Add that in all the normal highlight places, but also to your shoulders. Now 
and once you've got this you're ready to go and I love this wig I must say I love the looseness of the curls it gives such a yeah a flowy party also for a mature woman like I am it's pretty it's festive it's beautiful you can also you can always put it up too but I like this one down and when I put it on this morning when it came here the curls were all tucked up it was a very short wig but now that I have been wearing it sitting here it's gotten its shape it's been sagging from its own weight and oh my god I love it when I opened it I thought geez what's that who died in this bag is it a poodle is it something else but it's just it's it's great and with this look it's long oh, it's just incredible I'm a blonde today with party curls, but the top of this look are my lips. Glitter, glam, gloss, and everything you can wish is on my lips. So, I want to thank you all for watching this tutorial with me. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Leave some nice comments down below, give me some thumbs up, and for me, there's only one thing left to say, and that is, my love for makeup is spread all over to you, and I really hope to see you again soon in one of my coming videos, maybe even tomorrow, in look number 5 of my 10 party looks of 2016. So, 